All right, Tino, go. Hey, good morning. Hey, Jim, here with uh, Sean Samuels, Carrie Campbell. Carrie is going to start with a vignette. Good morning. Today we have an 83-year-old male with CHF and hypertension. Here are our disclosures. Next slide, please. He's an 83-year-old male with two weeks of worsening shortness of breath. He presents to the ER in pulmonary edema with a history of ischemic cardiomyopathy and refractory hypertension. We were initially consulted for a 4.5 centimeter TAA and a 4.4 centimeter AAA. We also discovered renal artery stenosis suspected on CTA during evaluation. Next slide. Past medical history includes hyperlipidemia, hypertension requiring three medications for over two years, ischemic cardiomyopathy with an EF of 40% in 2008. He subsequently had two drug-eluting stents placed at that time. Medications include four antihypertensives, aspirin, and a statin. Next slide. Physical exam reveals elevated blood pressure, lab ele elevated BNP. Next slide. We have a 3D MIP showing diffuse atherosclerosis of the juxtarenal aorta, as well as the renal arteries bilaterally. Next slide. CTA images, axial plane, demonstrate bilateral atherosclerosis, eccentric on the left and circumferential on the right, just away from the ostea. Next slide. We have curved planar reformats showing the eccentric plaque on the left renal artery stenosis and the ostea on the left. Next slide. On the right, we again have the circumferential plaque that is just away from the ostea. Next slide. We have a diagnostic renal angiogram that was performed during cardiac cath. This confirms the bilateral renal artery stenosis. At the same time, he was found to now have an EF of 15 to 20 percent. Next slide. In summary, we have an 83-year-old male with pulmonary edema and hypertension refractory to four medications. Treatment plan today is a diagnostic angiogram and possible stent placement. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. So we have a pretty interesting uh, situation here, an 83-year-old male who presents with uh, pulmonary edema, not truly flash pulmonary edema, but congestive heart failure. He got a catheterization to exclude ischemic cardiomyopathy. At that time, he only really found one vessel disease with an occluded circumflex. He has LVH and a long-standing history of hypertension, and there's the concern for the renal artery stenosis. During the cardiac catheterization, we did do an abdominal aortogram, and even though on the CT angiogram it appeared as though there was only left-sided severe disease, the right renal artery appeared to have calcific plaque and what may have been a small web. And we thought that because of the patient being now on four medications, difficult to control hypertension, he uh, may be a, a candidate for renal revascularization. Can you guys see uh, the image there uh, from our uh, aortogram? So we, we see it, Sean, and, and immediately, um, and Tino, uh, we see the images. I'm trying to get an idea how tight the left renal is on this particular um, image. If you, I don't, it, it doesn't look all too terribly tight. And I see the web area on the right side. Can you elaborate a little bit? Correct. And, and that's the concern. And because of his aneurysmal disease, his age, his aorta is very tortuous. And what we started first was, let's say, we were going to investigate and evaluate both uh, renal arteries with renal artery pressures. And you can see our initial attempt on the right renal artery with a four French sauce catheter. And because of the tortuosity, it was very difficult. It's a downgoing renal artery, a lot more downgoing than we initially thought. We really could not uh, get good uh, purchase, a good enough purchase to bring any catheter and sheath combination across to get a good pressure. At that you, time, we went to the left. So let me show you an answer to your question about, about the left. Did you think about a flow wire at that time? We, we thought about a flow wire, but we really didn't even have enough access to get a flow wire across it. Right. Whenever we gave up our, our wire to give ourselves the lumen back, uh, we basically, and if you sort of recall the, the tortuosity of, uh, around the level of the renal arteries, we, there was so much stored tension in the system that we kind of flopped out each time. So we then said, let's go check the left renal artery. Right. When in doubt, let's go to the left renal. Using a Benson wire and the four French sauce were able to reduce that and evaluate that, which you can see here. So let's have the panel uh, comment on what they think. The, uh, do they agree with you about the left renal, given the CT images, those uh, uh, multiplanar reconstruction images? 
is that 